Hi there, hello everyone. I am Sakib Sharia, ID 1510119030, and I am going to show you how to manage the Orange HRM database by Microsoft Access. And I have these resources. Let me open that. And this is the file uploaded by uh, AYN, sir. So, uh, firstly, I'll have to make a relationship the activities is telling us to make uh, the relations so firstly we have to go to database tools and go to relations then I'll have to drag four of these tables first table employee table second table employee dependence table third table employee driving license and the fourth one is employee education then I'll have to make a relationship between them. First of all, I'll have to make relationship between employee table and employee de dependence table. So I'll have to take employee number and I'll have to drag this employee number. So there is a little relationship, a relationship uh, line between these two people. Then I'll have to uh, make relationship between employee uh, employee table and employee driving license table i'll have to take employee number and drag to this employee number and this is how i create this and lastly i'll have to make relationship between uh, employee table and uh, employee education table so i'll have to take employee id take id only id Then drag this here and create. And this is how the relationship between the tables are made. So let me just sort it out. And this is this. Then I'll have to make three of the other tables the job candidate vacancy table here, job candidate table and lastly job vacancy table now I'll have to make relationship between them first of all job candidate and job uh, job vacancy relationship the key is vacancy ID so vacancy ID drag to here and create this is the relationship between these two table then uh, job candidate vacancy and job candidate table relationship with the candidate id key create so this is how we make the relationship so let us save that then i'll have to make queries so we'll have to go to create Go to query wizard and click OK. And I'll have to take uh, employee table and I'll have to take these uh, fields number, ID, last name, first name, middle name. And I'll have to go to employee dependence. I'll have to take name and relationship, relationship type. So next next page so this is the employee query we'll have to go to design view to design them we'll have to click this uh, line and right click to find the joint properties click it number two include all records to include all records and this is how we, we include to see how it includes click the data sheet view and here are the all my employees in the datasheet view now we'll have to include join date by the SQL view so open the SQL view and these are the codes of SQL view so firstly uh, we'll have to copy them then we'll have to open the notepad this 
it's the notepad paste it here now we'll have to sort to write in a better way so let us make this in a row we can't uh, we can't uh, take without the comma so this is how uh, so this is kind of sorted out so we'll have to copy the whole thing and we'll have to paste it and we'll have to go to activities here is the activities and copy the joint date copy it and paste it in the employee ID and this is it so let us copy or select all and copy this and put it on here so let's delete all and paste the whole from the notepad and we'll have to click run so these are the employee query with the joined date field this is how we uh, include the joined date so let us save that and uh, now we'll have to make some prop form so let's go to create go to more forms from wizard now we'll have to take some fields from employee employee now we'll have to take number id last name first name middle name nickname small card race code birthday then we'll have to go employee status status as an num and other ID other ID so let's click next and finish so this is the form of uh, this is the form view we just need from employee table let's go to design view design this so here we can design anything by ourselves like we can say it's employee form and we can drag anything So we can align anything and drag anything anything we want so this is how we design here so we'll have to add a sub form which is employee education so let us include that here uh, next finish so here is the employee education platform and we can Okay, call it employee education sub form and click OK. And this is the sub form here. So let us go to the design view. Let us go to the form view. And here are the here is the form and here is the sub form. We can this is how we make the sub form 
So let us save that. And then we'll have to make a report. So go to create report wizard. And we'll have to take job candidate table. And we'll have to take ID, first name, middle name, last name, email, contact number. Then uh, date of application. Um, keywords and we'll have to take another uh, more to uh, fields from job vacancy table name and click next and click finish and this is the report of this is the report of our job candidate so let's go to design view to design anything like we can call it uh, job candidate report click enter and this is the report anything you can click here to write uh, to edit anything so uh, this is how you make and if you go to report view it's the report view so uh, this is how you uh, so uh, firstly uh, well, lastly we'll have to save everything save this and uh, this is how you add the whole uh, this is how you mm, Design the database of Orange HRM by Microsoft Access. We can use this to manage our database. We can use this to manage anything of our company. This is the best way to design and manage any kind of database. So, so uh, I'm stopping here. Uh, have a great day. Thank you.